I feel that there's an apology coming. But I don't know why. Or why I should. I've been away for a while. You can say that. And there's a story to it. Okay, so it has been about over a year now since I stopped posting regular videos on this channel. And uh, I came back for a couple of videos with the Comic Con video, Graphic Novel Collection, and Blu ray Collection. But that was pretty much it, and then silence again. We can all agree on that for those that have stayed with me on this channel. So, in between all that, stuff has happened. I'm not saying that in a negative way, just in me grasping a lot of impressions from different things, from books, documentaries, other people around me, surrounding me, and what I want to do. Not just with the channel, but in life in general. For people that have told me, you know, I went away from my hometown for two years studying uh, 3D visualization, still struggling with the pronunciation in English. But you know, making 3D renders of interior design, architecture and whatnot. And that is something that I really enjoy doing. And I promised myself that I would get into it after having taken my exam, which I did. But then it went on for five or six months back to my hometown, here where we are, and back to my old job in uh, customer service uh, in a grocery shop, basically. So back to square one, but still with new tools in the belt and wanting to use them. So I was thinking, yeah, maybe work here five or six months, getting back some money before you go out there again. And so I started, I started applying for 3D graphic work positions. I think I searched for over 40 jobs, which half of them replied, thankfully. Still, no position, nothing available, uh, or that, or wanting more experience, which you can't get unless you give up your free time, and there's no money in that. Just the experience and losing money, basically. There was one interview, and the interview felt that it went well. And this was in the winter of 20. 21, I would say. This was when I just had the final episode of Finding Fandom, which I didn't know was gonna be the last episode, but just this job hunt took up so much of my free time and my, I just couldn't focus on anything else because otherwise nothing would happen. And so it went and I had the interview and then there was nothing but silence. There was this recruiter brand that uh, contacted me for them. They saw my portfolio and they recruited me for this company. But then after the interview, nothing for about one and a half months, I would say. So I was sitting there. I thought that I would finally get into this business. But since I didn't even get a reply on that interview, which I thought was strange, because at least you would get a, we have found someone else for this position, there was nothing. So I, of course, dived deep into myself and my self thoughts on what do I do now? What can I use? What tools do I have that I can make something out of this? Because I do not want to be here anymore in my current job situation and i am very aware that i'm not the only one that has ever felt that ever in the world but here i am and contemplating on what tools do i have and it wasn't quite obvious until i really thought about it about what i have been doing for the last 10 years which is youtube videos this is not me saying I'm going 
100% YouTube from now on. That is not what this is. But what it is, is that I have started my own company within film and photography. And that is a leap that I never thought I would do in my entire life. I thought it took a special type of personality, special type of person to stand there and say, yeah, I drive my own company or I have my own company. I do this in the business and everything. This is my brand and everything. I never saw myself as that type of person. I realized that is not the type of person that is actually making their own brand. It just takes a certain drive for something that you really like. That is my view of it all. With that in mind, I started to get into that mindset of, okay, I'm going to educate myself on how to do and make your own business. And that's when they called me or the recruitment center called me and said that I got the job, the 3D digitalization job that I had the interview for. And since it has been over a month since I heard anything from them, I simply said, no, thank you. And that could either be the, one of the biggest mistakes in my life or one of the best, because I was so certain on what I wanted to do when I got that call because I've saved a number, I knew exactly who it was that was calling me. And frankly, I was a bit of a jerk on the phone because I first acted like I didn't know who was on the phone. And yeah, I said, no, thank you. And nothing more than that. Uh, I could always apply again because I left it as smooth as I could. But for now, I'm going to focus on making my own business in photography and film. And videos that you've seen maybe on this channel before, like the Comic Con videos, I'm trying to improve on those. And also there's this video on my local library that I love architecture and stuff like that. Wanting to show areas, I mean, cities and travel, I think this is the best platform for me to actually <laughs> discover things in the world both and within myself. And yeah, it feels good. It feels good talking about this because I haven't talked about this openly uh, for a long time. So yeah, that is what's going on. And if you want to follow me on this journey, you can stay on this channel. You can also check out my Instagram. There's links down below. There's currently three Instagrams within my life and that's my personal, the YouTube channel and the company Instagram for right now. You choose either which if you're ever interested. Then there's also the website down below and it is simply called imakemoviesnow.com. That is why I have been away for such a long time because it takes time establishing your company making contacts, networking, and then of course getting out there and starting client work. And I hope I can take you with me on some of that work in the future. So this channel used to be about comic books. You'll still see comic books on this channel probably, but you might will also see many other things. Like when I started up with minimalism and tried to incorporate that into the channel I'll do the same with this and I'm glad to take you along with me and thank you so much for listening to me rambling this has been very strange talking to a camera one-on-one -on -one again and I hope this came out well so till then thanks so much for watching hey Oslinger